Uh, hello everyone. Well, uh, it's finally finished. I put the uh, the Barrett muffler on. Um, I actually got them to send a second one because I thought the muffler was angling out and it does angle out. So what I mean by that is that if you have a look at the muffler behind, see it goes out that way. Um, so I didn't think that was right. So they sent me another one, which was good of them, um, to send that through to me. You know, normally, you know, the, the original muffler, on it, as you know, goes you know pretty well straight this way. But anyway, that's how they have it. I can't say I like it, but anyway, I mean, I don't ride looking at the exhaust, do I? So anyway, that's 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 on there. Uh, uh, I like to you know go places where I don't annoy, not annoying anyone, you know. Um, but it's still yeah, it's still noisy enough uh, with the baffling. Yeah, it's actually quite noisy. Um, but wait and see what we're like. That's in the garage. Wait and see when we're out there having a bit of a ride. So I'm going to go for a ride in probably next half an hour and take this thing for a bit of a shakedown. Make sure anything, uh, nothing falls off. I'm always worried when you put things together. So there's all the back, uh, the racks all on. Went on nice. Very happy with the material. They only, uh, they are only soft racks, like I said. So yeah, if you're going to carry heavy and a lot of weight stuff, these aren't the racks. Okay, these are light racks. Um, but they'll do the stuff that I want to carry anyway. Uh, so that's all good everything's back together again the exhaust went on pretty easy the screen's done um, I just put some Husky stickers there um, there's actually a chap in Canada somewhere who has the same type of fairing for his KDM and he just put it on and he's done it really well he actually got a sticker uh, made up that goes here and also this part here which I thought as well and it looks really good um, but anyway that's down the track that's money I don't want to spend yet so yeah as you can see I'm pretty happy with that um, we'll get out there in the bush somewhere and I'll have a talk about the bike, sit out there in the daylight. Um, something I did do in the end, I finally ended up doing it because, like I said, the, uh, the guy over in, uh, in Canada, where he's got the same kit on, he's white, his lights up the same way, so I thought I'd do the same thing. Um, so basically what happens now is, I know you can't see it, I'll stay on this angle here, so that's the low light, so that stays on, and now I've also got the running light working as well, all right? But also what I've done, when I put on high beam, the low beam stays on as well, okay? Um, so the, di the diagram that comes with this kit, how to wire it up, um, it's fine, um, but only the high beam will stay on and not the low beam. And so if you want both lights running, you need to wire it a different way. And how you do that, guys, is basically in short, is that I've got it in my videos there where uh, there's accessory wiring behind there, accessory two. Um, I'm using accessory two because the, where I got the idea from, they used accessory two and they said use that, so I used it as well. So what you do is that it's a um, shovel, shovel kite clip. So you wire that low beam to that accessories two. Um, and that what that does, that means that when you turn the ignition on, that light will turn on as well, all right? And it will stay on because it's working off the ignition, not the switch, if you know what I mean. So... That's how that works. And then you, you two running lights, well basically I left the running light where this was still attached to its normal connection, how I did it before, but also attached the running light for this one to that as well. All right, so that's how they all work now. All good and they're all, here we go. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the camera's working. I've actually got a new helmet, and uh, I've done all the attachments to it. And so hopefully, hopefully everything's working, and you can see and you can hear. So there's the old girl in the sunlight, all nice and clean. Alrighty, I reckon I'm pretty happy how it turned out. So it looks all good. So we'll just head off. You can see the muffler there. You can see what I mean? Where it, it angles out a little bit. But anyway, it's all right. I don't ride from men, look at that, do I? Alrighty, where do we start this thing here? Alright, throw this leg over. They are a tall bike. Side stand's too long.
Yeah, that's, that suit's hard <laughs> on my bony bum. Right, yeah. So what's that? That's ninety seven. That's a hundred. Uh, I'd have to say I'm getting a lot of buffering. Uh, that's not good. It's actually that bad, it's making my eyes go blurry. Uh, that's no good. That's at a 97. That's what I found there. So, yeah, it's hit me helmet right there on the peak. This thing's just doing a hundred cruise along at a hundred. Alright. So that's with the visor down now. Yeah, it's not too bad. We'll have to wait and see. But this air is buffering me helmet a bit. One thing I notice about the uh, House Farner 701, it's, I thought it'd have a little bit more bottom end power. You know what I mean? A bit more torque to the bottom end. It's, it's got good mid range and top end, but in my opinion, it's just a little bit lacking in the bottom end for a bike with, you know, 74 horses and being a uh, almost like a big trial bike. That's what they are. So, some of the things I do notice about this bike is that um, I've never ridden a bike with a fuel tank under the seat or the, at the rear of the bike. And, uh, well, it's got a fair bit of fuel in it. It has not dead full. It's, I think there's around about 10 litres in it. So, uh, we'll talk about that now because I, I can definitely feel the weight towards the back of the bike. Uh, it wasn't as bad as when I first rode it for a little test ride on it. So I think with the, uh, with the screen being a little bit more weight up the front as well, that might have helped. So that's just not too noisy. So yeah, so... Most people will know that the 701 and the 690, new 690, and the older ones, the fuel tank's here. That's the fuel tank, all behind it here. So you've got all this weight at the back here. Okay, so when I first rode it, um, dead stock, I can't say I was all that impressed with the bike. Uh, I just really thought it was really all the weight at the back, so it's a bit like the old tail wag and the dog. Um, yeah, it was all right. The front was a bit real loose. I know a lot of people do put steering dampers on it too. I did notice it up through there a little bit as well. Oh, but just sick of spending money. It's uh, it's good fun riding a lighter bike, but I, I kid you not. It's uh, I mean the, good, the big bikes are fun in their own way with the power on that. But getting on a lighter bike, uh, yeah, really good. So I'm still running the standard tyres on it, and I'll keep running them until they're uh, uh, worn out. I know the front one will last a fair bit, so I'll probably replace that when the back goes to a more aggressive knobby tyre. Um, so yeah, still a dual, dual sports type tyre. Okay, so um, look, the bike feels pretty good to me. Uh, suspension wise, I know a lot of people firm them up in suspension. Uh, for me, I'm a lightweight. I, I don't have to do that. Uh, I think it's going to be fine for me. Uh, just on a second, I'll just take my goggles off. Yeah, so I don't think I'll be doing that. I'm happy with the suspension uh, on it now. Uh, we are in winter here in Australia, uh, but the last few days, crazy weather. I mean, beautiful warm weather. It's unbelievable. Um, we're talking about 22 something degrees, something, you know, today. It's beautiful. I mean, I probably don't even have to have this heavy jacket on. I'm actually sweating. Uh, the bike overall, yeah, I, I could naturally have a better seat. Comfy as it's uh, 
on the road, sitting on 100 k's, it's just no worries at all. Um, no noises, no sort of vibrations. I am, like I said earlier, getting a little bit of buffering uh, on that. Uh, so the headlight now, we might try to give it a bit of a look now too when I'm outside. So you're not getting, you shouldn't get the blurriness. So you can see there now, hopefully you can see that in the, the low light. And then that's the top one there, is that's the running light. Okay. So when we turn on high beam, there we go. Both lights are on now. All right, so there they are, double stack. All right, so they're both on. Uh, so that's good. It's good when everything goes to, goes to plan. Now, the only thing is I thought my red light was flashing on that, the, the oil engine light, but no, it's not. Just a little bit. What happens is they've got the holes through here, and the sun rays was going through there a little bit. Must be just putting a bit of light in there. So that's all that was. Um, so I've got my earplugs in at the moment. So that's that's pretty quiet, that muffler, but that's, that's fine. Uh, that seems pretty good to me. So everything else is staying on nice. So the bike's really good. The front brakes, are, for me, are fine. The rear brakes are good. Um, suspension is, yeah, it's good enough for me. Uh, I won't be spending any money on suspension for me. It, uh, it, it, it's plushiness, but not to the point where it's smashing through the stroke. I mean, naturally, if you up the speed and start hitting things on it and riding like a proper enduro bike, well, that's different, okay? Um, but I think you'll find majority of riders out there, um, depending on your weight, I think you'll find suspension is, is, is good enough. Uh, like I said, my gear on, all up, I'm probably only about 72 kilos. Uh, you know, maybe a little bit heavier. All right. So, yeah, with that bit of extra weight on the front, I feel it has, it doesn't feel as a little bit tail heavy now, okay? But what I do notice the difference to it to compare to my DR, with the DR, the tank's up the, up the front, and when that's full, uh, you can feel the weight being higher. But because it's overall a light bike, it doesn't give you any trouble, you know what I mean? But you can feel the difference. It is more top heavy. Whereas the fuel is down here, it definitely feels the difference. Okay, it's a lot better. It's, the center of gravity is down lower. Okay. Uh, so now it's time to get it a bit dirty, I suppose, and get the scratches on it. Um, but I am really funny like that. I like to keep my bikes pretty well immaculate all the time. So, But they are a bike, a dirt bike, so they do get dirty and scratched, and that was, that's what happens. The only thing I noticed with them as well was the foot pegs. All right. Not from the foot pegs, in my mind, but it's where they're positioned. Okay, so the center of the bike here. Look, as soon as I jumped on this bike for a test ride when I was buying it off the chap, I felt straight away they were back that way. All right, they are, they're back further. Even compared to the DO or the Honda, that they seem to be further back. So when you're sitting on it, your legs are more bent. All right, they're back that way. Probably, I don't know, normal foot peg may be about here somewhere. You know what I mean? But I can definitely feel it. Um... It's again, once you start riding it, you kind of like, you get used to it, you know, but you do notice when you first jump on it, that's what I did anyway, the foot pegs seem to be back that way. Uh, you can get lowering foot pegs as well, I think about 20 mils. So I've got my, I put my little own sort of bar risers on myself there, that's about an inch, maybe be a bit more. Uh, but if you're really tall, you might have to do the bar risers and get the lower foot pegs as well. Uh, if you stand a lot, which I do stand a lot when I ride especially in this type of terrain. It tightens up a bit down here, so I stand up a lot. Uh, what else is there? Pity they don't come with any disc protector. You've got to buy them. They all come part of it. Uh, you've got to buy it. Sorry, they come part of the uh, the, the, the caliper itself in the, down here, the bracket. And they're not cheap either. So you want to protect your disc. Uh, you have to fork out some money for that as well. Okay. And a lot of people get protectors for these as well. With the, with the, um, the, that's the brake cylinder there so it's under here you can quite easily get broken off i reckon you could see that so a lot of people get brackets for them as well uh you see the lightweight pannier racks they're very nice and compact okay uh they don't get in the way uh, they come in very handy actually so you can hang on to them and when you're moving the bike around okay oh, all right so what i'll do i'll stop bumping my gums i'll I go for a bit more of a test ride. It's only a quick ride today. And, uh, another probably 15 minutes, I'll be back out on the road again. And I'll head home.
sand up through here. Down to a bit of a rocky section down here. We've always got to take it a bit easy. Really sketchy. I mean, the camera never shows it, does it? Really, we all know that. Uh, Come down here on the big African twin, you've got to really take it easy. Now we've got a tree down there. Sand here, always can catch you out, push you wide. Break his chain out. You get yourself caught out on this bike so easy. Uh, you just pick up speed so quick on it. Pity uh, you can go straight ahead, but it goes to farm plates, uh, properties now, and they put all these signs up, come through and we'll shoot you, all that kind of stuff. So there's no point worrying about it these days. Well, anyway, that'll do us. It uh, just basically goes out to more people a fire road at the moment. And uh, I know it's pretty boring just to watch a bike go through a track sometimes, so. Well, unless I'm naked or something, eh? it seems like if you want to get subscribers, I've got to do some shots showing me ass. So yeah, mar shots, I think. All right, some mar shots. We're in a G-string riding the bike. Get me some subscribers. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. Alrighty, so that might do us. We'll catch up next time and uh, get out there and ride. Do the right thing, don't be too noisy, respect everyone else, and uh, have fun. Alright, guys.
Have fun. See you later.